And welcome back live to ANZ Stadium. Game one is only a matter of minutes away. And how important is game one in the overall structure of this great concept? 75% of first game winners have gone on to win that series. Crowd is good. They're pumped. They're waiting for some action out in centre field. As New South Wales prepare to leave the dressing rooms, they were expecting a crowd of something like 70,000, and I think they have achieved that. Andrew Johns has been tied up with coaching duties and whatnot. Andrew, Peter Wallace yep. has been the sinister of all eyes. How do you think he will go? I, I think he'll play well, Rams. He's got a great temperament. Uh, he's, I was looking at him then just after a warm-up. The rest of the players, as you can imagine, the adrenaline's going crazy. He's got a cool head. He's ready for tonight. He'll play well. What about uh, Greg Bird? There's also been a lot of talk about has he got a kicking game that's going to complement what Wallace has to do? Well, look, he surprised me this week with his kicking game. Um, he's just phenomenal. He's, he just seems to have all the skills. Uh, look for him to be a really good fall tonight for Peter Wallace. Um, whenever he's under pressure, Badiris will go to him and he'll do some long kicking. OK, Andrew, thank you for that. We'll come to you during the match. The Queenslanders are in the tunnel and about to make their way out onto ANZ Stadium and being led out, of course, by Cameron Smith, leading them out for the first time. Here they are, the Maroons at ANZ Stadium. It's been a graveyard for them, really. One from 12. Cameron Smith, what a wonderful year for him, the captain. He won Origin last year and won both the big medals, the Wally Lewis and the Ron McAuliffe medal. Captain Melbourne to grand final victory. He captained Australia to two test victories and became a dad in March, just gone. They don't get any bigger than that for Cameron Smith and he's right in the running for man of the match honours tonight. And so the Blues will get a big welcome, unlike the one that they will get at Suncorp in a few weeks time. Mason the 11 in the run on side, Fitzgibbon in the run on side, and a sea of blue accommodating the stand at the far side. Here they are, the Blues of New South Wales. Danny Baderas leading them out for the 13th time in his final year of football in Australia. His 19th consecutive origin marvellous record including four Dally M awards former player of the year from Taree he's gone on to captain at club state and national levels with honor and dignity and there's the young man that really has had the spotlight on him born in Melbourne came via the Blue Mountains dabbled in rugby union to Penrith and of course the former apprentice painter now is on rugby league's biggest stage with all of the pressure on his shoulders tonight Craig Fitzgibbon back a big break from Origin. He's got a good record in Origin. 75% win record from eight matches played. And Mason, well, Carl Webb wants to fight him. I wonder, will that bout come up tonight rather than in a few months' time? Now, they're going to have a minute's silence now for the passing and in the memory of the late Jack Rayner, who sadly passed away last Saturday, aged 87. Kangaroo forward, Let South, captain coach there, five premierships, six years. Renowned for his sportsmanship and for his dignified manner. Jack Rayner, another of our greats to pass away in just the last couple of weeks. So the Blues wearing black armbands in memory of Jack Rayner. As I said, another great that we've lost in the last couple of weeks. The other was uh, the man that Daryl Eastlake called the super coach during this very series, Origin, during the late 80s and early 90s. So we're standing by for the national anthem to be sung by one of Australia's great rugby league family members, Erin Mortimer. And she's backed up by the St Gregory's College Choir.
with the red hair and a shot of steam. And a very proud dad watching on. He got down and he kissed the turf at the Sydney Cricket Ground when the Blues, under his captaincy, won their first series back in 85. I spent a bit of time with Turvey too. Trust me, he doesn't sing like that. No, she must have got it from Mum for sure. The singing ability. Anthony Quinn on debut. Now with Melbourne. Melbourne with nine players involved in the game, plus a coach, so the representation from down south is massive. Another of them, that's Dallas Johnson, as we welcome live to our telecast tonight, again, GTV9 in Melbourne. Lovely to have you on board. There's the 15, Fitzgibbon, in the run on side. Cross will start from the bench. And the Olympic Stadium is ready. Kathy, she had one go at her major event and she got one victory. Queensland, they've come down with one from 12. They'll be looking to improve it tonight. Young Wallace, the apprentice painter, he would ride 20 kilometres on the cycle to work five days a week. And Willie Mason waits. Waits because there was probably a big wait for him. Would I start this game? He is starting. Well, he's looking to improve his record. Big well, Willie's played 10 origins, only four victories. And Peter Wallace, as you point out, born in Melbourne. And the other origin representative I can think was Tamana Tahu. And that man there would love to have a representative career like Tamana's. Tony Archer then. His first origin. We are underway. Origin 2008. Queensland going for a three-peat. Three series wins in a row on offer in six weeks' time. So it's Gallon with the 13 on his back. He's tackled just outside his own 20-metre line. Met by Thigh Day. I was looking for some fire and brimstone in the tackle on Gallon. It wasn't apparent. And now Mason goes to ground. 30 metres away from his line. But Deere is a scurry from Dummy Hart. Fitzgibbon angles back into the markers. And they were alert and they put him down. Just inside the 40 metre line. They're going to kick early. And Wallace gets a kick away. And it's a nicely placed kick. It sets Slater across. And here's Slater with a ring of blue around him. A good chase from the Blues. And he will play the ball. Billy Slater. Billy the kid, 22 metres out from his own line. This is Tate. Who did that in anterior ligament damage in game three last year. He's only played eight matches since the Origin Series of last year. Here's Carl. They meet him and put him away. Fitzgibbon leading the attack with White. And that doesn't surprise. Was it not White that got it? Was it not uh, Webb that got White early last year in the series? Now it's gone from Smith and gone to Thurston. And Thurston sends it down. It's fielded over there by Jared Hayne. And Hayne is held. 37 out from his own line. Well, it's 15-0 in favour of Peter Wallace with the first kicks of the game. Both sides kicking earlier in the count, kicking on the fourth, and Wallace got a boomer away. That was a poor one from Thurston. It was a brilliant, brilliant tackle by Carmichael Hunt on Ryan Hoffman. You would have seen the jolt when it was a, it was a conventional tackle down low. And he, here's Wallace making a break, stepping free. 27 metres out from the line. So his start has been enormous. Here's Badir is looking for a penalty. Then he gets the ball away to the 5'8 bird. And the Blues on the attack. Real pressure for Queensland. Early days. Wallace, he puts it on the ground. Well fielded by Tate. That's a hard take for Brent. But he did well. So Queensland repelling the first real challenge of the game. Hodges now. And Justin wrapped up by an enthusiastic Blues defence, including Mason and Fitzgibbon and Gallen. And Tate tries to go away, but they're still inside their 10 and well, they've look, had three. Look at how they're bunched. They can't move the football. That's a, a better run from Falau, but it's the last tackle and they picked up 12 metres. And again, White was involved in the first up tackle as Thurston directs his troops out of there with a long kick which is fielded by Stewart it's gone over to Hayne Hayne shrugged away one and he'll play the ball 42 metres out from the Queensland line two tries on debut for Hayne in origin and one in his first match and then of course he had that embarrassment to follow in the same game it's gone over to Fitzgibbon now and he's tackled in the middle of the ground 30 metres away from the Queensland line, appropriately playing it in the 4X side. It comes to Wallace, goes to Bird. Bird to Hoffman, Hoffman away! Beautifully taken Stewart, the Blues are in with Anthony Quinn! Quinn has scored the first try of the first game of Origin 08. Brilliant, brilliant play by the Blues and what a take by the 
the magician from Manly, Brett Stewart. And just his second touch in origin football for Anthony Quinn. Plays in the back row or plays on the wing and handles it nicely everywhere. Got origin written all over him. And what a start from Wallace. Good kick away and also a break already. And then the cutout pass. Ryan Hoffman on the fringe of the ruck where he lurks so dangerously. The take from Stewart. Always there, Brett Stewart. Great speed. Held it up. Held it up. Committed Billy Slater and put it on a platter for Anthony Quinn. Great start in the Blues. So the try scorer is Anthony Quinn, one of six debut players in the match tonight. Four for New South Wales and two for Queensland. And he's one of the nine Melbourne reps, as I pointed out earlier. Six Melbournians for Queensland, three for New South Wales. And there's the try scorer for New South Wales, Anthony Quinn, who went to Melbourne after doing great service for the Newcastle club. As we welcome our audience live through Satanta in England and down through Europe, we welcome our audience live through Adelaide and taking us on replay in Perth tonight. And of course, live through Melbourne, here is Fitzgibbon. He's hit it sweetly. Two further points for the Blues. Matthew John sideline. Yeah, Rabbits, here we go. Here's the key combination for New South Wales in attack tonight. It's on the left-hand side of the park. It's Byrne and Hoffman. Byrne loves to straighten on the inside. Hoffman just loves to take the space. And what about that take from Brett Stewart? Absolutely brilliant. First blood to New South Wales, they've got to say. Peter Wallace, two outstanding touches to start the game. Great for his confidence. We mentioned how proud Steve Morton would be tonight. Anthony Quinn's father, Richard, played first grade football at Parramatta and at Penrith, and he'd be here somewhere, I would imagine. Talking of dads, that's Ryan Hoffman. His dad, Jay, played for Canberra. Peter Wallace has had a beautiful start. They don't come any better than that for Peter Wallace. And here's Greg Bird looking for a forward runner. He was pirouetting, and Brett White loomed up on what was his blind side. So Bird takes the tackle, and here's his Cronulla teammate. And it's Paul Gallen who will play the ball just inside his own 20-meter line. Badira's a dummy half, sweeping it to Wallace quickly to Mason. And Mason is held in a four-man Queensland tackle. I don't want to dampen the party for you Blue supporters, but last year, first try scorer, it didn't mean an iota. The Blues lost the series, but they scored first in two of the three games. Played by Fitzgibbon on the 40-metre line. It's gone back, and a bit of depth there for Wallace. Gave him a bit of a comfort zone. Now it's brought back by Billy Slater. The kick from Wallace went straight to him, and Slater will play the ball. Nine metres his own side of halfway. Six-nothing in favour of the Blues. An early try to them as Hodges looks tantalisingly at the, the line, but there was no gap, and it's played by... Hodges and goes across from Tate and it's gone on to Thurston. He double pumps the ball and gets it out to Falau. And Israel is tackled 37 metres away from the Blues line. Tackled over there by Gaznia, who's guarding on right side. His side day, bumping away and then taking the tackle. Pulled down again by Mason and Gallen. It comes from Cameron Smith and goes to Sivan Asiva. It goes away to Hunt. A decoy went sailing through. Slater gets it out to Tate. Tate kicks. He's been He was certainly giving plenty of space to work in, but the cover defence from the Blues was tremendous. Great width of passing from both sides, appreciating the drier than expected oh surface, God. and the ball movement has been terrific. I like the way the Blues are moving it in their own half of the field too, not just bogging down with one-out hit-ups. It's given now, we'll play the ball. Just inside his own 40-metre line from Badiris, it finds Bird, and oh, Hoffman! Ran into a, another real big hit from Carmichael Hunt. And here is now Cooper trying to make a break. Down the left side for New South Wales. Here's the tackle on Hoffman. It was the same bloke that Hunt got earlier. So it's Hunt 2, Hoffman nil, Or 30 love if you like. Guderas to play the ball, played back by Gallen. 
to the right they go to Bird. He got a kick in. And through is Cameron Smith. The kick is fielded by Slater, and Slater is taken by Gaznia. So Slater plays it nine meters out from his own line. Israel comes away, wasn't held, goes again, and inches his way down towards the 20 meter line. Queensland's in the park penalty. Off the whistle of Archer. Too early is the call on the markers. And Queensland a penalty. And our first of the night. A little bit too enthusiastic out of marker. For an Israel Folau run. Folau, of course, has played test football. But this is his debut origin match. And that's a welcome one for Queensland. They are absorbing all the pressure at the moment. As Thayday takes it towards halfway. So Thayday aimed that run at Peter Wallace. And Wallace had to make the tackle. First in for Smith. And Smith for Webb. And Webb... He's pulled down by Fitzgibbon underneath and White is over the top. The lad, the former lad from Kuma, from down in the Eden Monaro. Hunt's pass is picked up and made to look good by Slater. Great reaction from the number one. And now it's with Hodges. Hodges, they're coming in in numbers twos and threes and fours, the Blues. They're really intense in defence. Play back for Tate now, and Tate goes for a scamper down the short side. He's pulled down 30 away from the Blues line. Queensland down, 6 0 early. Now Thurston, he goes high down to the southeastern corner. That was in the field of play for Hayne, and he's able to stay in the field of play after the tackle from Palau with a stray. The New South Wales defence is just varying how they're coming up and attacking this Queensland attack. Sometimes up and in, sometimes they're holding back, and they're getting it right every time, frustrating the Maroons. Played on the right side of the ground by Gaznia, Fitzgibbon. He thought he'd worn his last rep jumper in the City Country match a few weeks ago. In fact, he pushed up in the front row to give Anthony LaFranchi a shot at playing his favourite position. Such was his attitude, Fitzgibbon. He thought, I won't play reps again. That pass looked to go forward out to Hoffman. Archer didn't get a call from his touch, Judd, so play goes on on the New South Wales 30-metre line. The kick is off Greg Bird. Well, that ball went a metre forward. It was a mile forward. Oh, it was an awful pass. Slater then, getting plenty of work. The first kick from Wallace was good. It made him work a little bit. More recently, the kicks of zero to Slater. Here's Falao. Youngest man ever to play test football for Australia. And a brilliant year last year did he have in his debut year. Look at that for a crunching tackle on Michael Crocker. He's played in 32 consecutive winning sides. He hasn't been in the losing side for an absolute age. He might have been on the end of a loss there, though, as he's thumped down by the Blues. Their August 2005 rate when he last lost a game to Queensland. They're on their heels at the moment. They are getting belted. Thurston will find touch. Not a bad result for them. Of course, they look very tired already in this game. But they do absorb pressure better than most. The big fella, one of the most capped of all origin identities. Another identity watching tonight from his sickbed, and he hasn't been well is Kevin Humphreys, the man who, with Senator Ron McAuliffe, they basically conceived this idea of origin football. And Kevin, if you're watching, and I know you are tonight, because I had a call from your friend Bobby Wilson, with your wife, Joan, I hope you're feeling as well as you can. You've done well in putting this together, let me tell you that much. Gaznia plays the ball, Wallace gives it, Bird passes, Cooper runs, and Cooper is tackled just outside his 30-metre line. Matt Cooper, at 29 years of age, one of four players from the Illawarra. And there's Quinn. And this is what we like about Quinn. He's rough and he's tough and he can take a hiding. He wasn't outstanding in city country, but he's much, much better than we saw that night. And he's exhibited it tonight. Gallon for Quinn and Quinn for Cooper. And Cooper's taken by Tate. They're having a wonderful battle down this left side. These experienced players like Cooper and Tate and Hodges. That has gone to ground. It's a knock-on call by Archer. I thought Cooper might have thought it came off a knee. Yeah, it was an unnecessary play from the Blues. No need to be fancy when you don't have to be. And there's no doubt that that man Cooper had no idea that the dummy half was going to play for him. Braderis out of the short side, throws it back to him. Whatever the call was at training, no one told Matt Cooper. Engine, boys. 
Or he didn't hear it. Heading they look a little slow, the Maroons, at the moment, it. Rabbits. I don't know whether they're yeah. shell-shocked or not, but they just can't quite get into their gate, can they? Well, everything the Blues have been Heading doing with just a couple of little blemishes like the one that just happened, everything's being done with great urgency. No. No. Enormous no. intensity. And you saw the try, it was just absolutely fantastic to open the point scoring. So if that doesn't shock somebody, then I don't know what will as Carl Webb plays the ball. 30 away from the Blues line. It's come away from Seven to Seven to Thurston, then a decoy from Croc, and then a good ball. Well, it wasn't really a good ball. He's ruled that it's gone forward. Again, Slater was making a bad pass look good, I was about to say. Well, we've seen one blatant forward pass let go, and to say my first reaction on this was that it went back well it might have gone forward from billy slater the good pressure again quinn and cooper really rushing up and in whenever queensland looked to come wide and deep down this side of the field well they won one against the feed there and he's pulled it back he could very nearly have let that go get the ball in ball in Out. wallace then Away to Bird. Well, Bird's pass was bad, but Gaznia reached down and then put a friend on Greg English before going to ground under that man's tackle with the help of Friday. Now for Jared Hayne. He's tackled almost on halfway in the Harvey Norman sign. Harvey Norman, of course, the chief sponsor of, um, of State of Origin. And this is Paul Gallen who will play the ball. Seven metres into Queensland territory, as you can see on the wide shot. It's come from Vaderas and gone to Wallace, and Wallace short for Hoffman. I'm looking for Hunt, he's not there this time. Hoffman will be happy. Now Vaderas a run, there's no markers. When I say no markers, they were both inside the 10 and they weren't direct. He was unlucky not to get a penalty, really. Wallace is with it now, he puts a kick in. Seven receiver gives him a shoulder. Up they go, down they come, and oh, the young bloke for Lau. The 19-year-old has come down with it, and he's left the field of play. So it will be line drop out. It was a screaming take, just the same. They did well to seal Gaznier away from him, but all the same, this young fella really had to get up above them. There's a hit from Simon and Seaver on Wallace. Nothing wrong with that. Origin footy. Stop watching that. Let's get to the full out take. Look at this. That's the skill. That's what you want to see. Right up above him. Forget the tough stuff in the background, it's Origin. Yeah, it was called play on, he, he tried to get to his feet and get out, but Gallon arrives, so too Hayne. Cameron Smith gets one away, 45 metres on the full. So, they load the breach again, and White! Oh, he's a kamikaze player. And getting in front of him again was Carmichael Hunt. I think Hunt's a kamikaze. I can understand that from a front rower, but from a 5'8", can shorten life expectancy. Here's Fitzgibbon running it at Cameron Smith. Three, Cameron! Under the leg was Michael Crocker. Chance for the Blues. Badiris away. Gallon on. Wallace snuffed out. Eight metres out from the line. Tackled by Friday and Johnson. Now from Badiris across the face to Fitzgibbon. And Fitzgibbon will play the ball. Oldest player in the New South Wales side, Badiris. Long for Wallace. He, has, he puts the kick up. Twins got another one. Twins got number two. I don't think there's any query. Archer points to the spot. Anthony Quinn has got a double. And a beautiful piece of play here from Peter Wallace. If we get to see the pass to him, he was actually in a bad position to kick, but in a short period of time, took back a couple of steps to give himself time. It was great composure. He actually had gone back into a better position to kick and then pinpointed it onto the chest of Quinn. He didn't get it down the first time, went on the leg the first time. No problems the second. New South Wales now lead 10 points to nil. The Blues with a kick to come. In some ways, rather shell-shocked themselves. Gus Gould was talking about the Queenslanders look a bit shell-shocked. I think some of the crowd are shell-shocked. The Blues started this match as outsiders. Queensland aren't used to that. They don't like it. Just over 18 minutes gone in this first half. They hate it. NIB believes private health insurance should be So welcome again to our audiences to overseas. And most of all, good value. The That's UK and NIB Europe. NIB is one of Australia's fastest-growing health funds. 
Welcome back to ANZ Stadium, the home of the 2000 Olympics. And the Blues have got two tries. Anthony Quinn's name is in the record book. On debut, two tries in origin. Greg Inglis got a, a couple in his debut game. Now Fitzgibbon from right on the sideline. Fitzgibbon from 22 out, and he's hooked it. So no addition. We've got 10 nil on the scoreboard. Harvey Norman, State of Origin 1. That's a fine start, and Andrew Johns, do I see a little hint of a satisfaction? Smile down there, two kicks from Wallace first. It forces a line drop out for Lau, forced into the in-goal area, and the second one well straight onto the chest of Quinn. They're just having a technical problem there. Andrew Johns, can you hear me? It's still late. Yeah, mate, mate the, the last two kicks from Wallace. The first one forcing a line drop out. The second one perfectly placed for Anthony Quinn. Well, mate, he's going to be under all sorts of pressure here, but what's, his controls really impressed me. But he's, he's given himself good depth. Two great kicks. He's on fire. So, Queensland getting us restarted. Queensland starting this game as favourites, something they're not happy with. They blew in the betting, out to $1.70. The Blues finished up as $2.10. And $3 million was the hold on TAB Sports Bet with an hour of betting remaining. It's the most popular state of origin betting that they've experienced. Here's Mason. First interchange for Queensland, Nate Miles out for Carl Webb. Wallace kicks outside the 40. And again, he just makes Slater move a little bit. And you really need to keep it away from Slater. You can't give him a free run. You've got to make him do something. His tape with the ball, Phil Gould. Yeah, you don't want Slater linking up with his wingers, though. But I think they kick it to him, so he's got to run it back on his own. They're not able to link up and allow someone else to take the collision. They want Billy Slater one out. Laurie Daly, how are you seeing it so far? Yeah, well, State of Origin is all about learning on your feet, and Wallace has showed us what he's capable of. The first kick went to full out, no result. Then the next set of six they had straight over to Brent Tate. Quinn goes in to score his second. That's what I call learning on the feet. Seven to Siva. 21 Origin matches. 20 of them consecutively. Now it's away for Hunt to kick. Big Petro started his Origin career back in 2001. Born in Suva, Fiji, electing to play for Queensland. And put to the ground is Stewart, who played a magnificent part in the first of this man's first two tries, Anthony Quinn. What a take it was from the youngster we'll see on Friday in Friday Night Football when Manly takes on the Dragons. 10-0 the score in favour of the Blues. It's come away all, but Dearest was buckled over by Crocker. And then Hunt went in and slammed Hoffman again. And Hoffman has taken a look under his left wing and looked out to the bench. Hunt has hurt him. That's a shot of him. Yeah, he's got blood coming from the nose. Ben crosses on. Wallace again looking to bisect the fullback and winger. Doesn't do so. Tate does well and finds Slater. Slater coming away from the 10 metre line. Wallace, on that occasion, he had a mile of time. He set himself. He drilled it to the space that he wanted it to go to. It's a wonderful story, the Peter Wallace story. Still hasn't met his father. Second raised by his mum, a midwife, who on one occasion or two, she drove him from Blacksland and the Blue Mountains to Balmain three times a week. You're talking about this battle between Hoffman and Carmichael Hunt. I can tell you that Hoffman will keep coming, but Carmichael Hunt hasn't played in the front line of defence for a long time. Can he keep hitting like that? and still do the job from 5'8", the Queensland wanting to do. They've got his tackle count up now. He's looking tired, and they need him for attack, not just defence. Now it's come away to Crocker, and Crocker is put down. 43 metres out from the Blues line. Carmichael did play some lock forward as a schoolboy. Queensland schoolboys, he played lock forward. He started a couple of games at half-back for the Broncos. Now it's back to Stewart. He's got some work to do. Hodges has got him. One of the best in the business down the ground. Like a gazelle, wraps him up and says, line drop out, thank you. Just watch how he seizes upon the chance here, Justin Hodges. He puts in four or five real big bounds when he sees the ball's going to sit up. It's a nicely weighted kick by Thurston, 
Hodges sees the opportunity and really sprints hard. He wants to win the impact. Bang! Got him. Get back here. Now they get the ball back. Yeah, it's a wonderful kick from Jonathan Thurston. Kicked hard underneath the football, and that actually puts a little bit of backspin on it. So when it hits the ground, it sits up instead of rolling forward. Slater on the full. He's going to find Miles. And Nate Miles carries it back just inside the 30-metre line. And that's away for Sivan Receiver again. One of seven club captains involved in the contest. Petro, of course, joining Penrith this year as their club captain. That is Smith. Another of the seven played back to Johnson. Johnson to Thurston. They're working a short side play. And Dummy to Thide, who goes back to the blind side. But the Blues have got them numbered there. So they'll come open side. And it's away to Cameron Smith. He gives it to Johnson. Johnson goes back to where the ball was played. He's tackled 10 metres out from the line by Wallace. And there's the ball swept away to the short side. Thurston, short kick. And Jared Hayne swoops upon the ball. To play it just out from his own line. It's an interesting matchup over there between Jared and Israel Falau, both products of Westfield Sports High. And both wonderful products, are they not? Eyeballing each other at origin. 22 metres away from the Blues line, played by Cross, who's now out there for the Blues. And the 16 is out there as well for New South Wales. LaFranchi. Third. Sends it straight down the mouth of Slater. Puts in a bunny hop, but they go through hard. And Bird was there and chasing hard for Dearest. They have introduced Billy Slater to a world of pain tonight. They're kicking to him deliberately so that he can come up and they can rip into that light frame of his and take the juice out of him. Look at him. He's tough, though. He'll keep coming. Halfway line from Cameron Smith to Carmichael Hunt behind Friday. Thurston got it away. Greg Inglis is with it. And Greg will play the ball from the Northern Rivers, from Barrowville, who played his first senior football in Queensland, which is a contentious issue still. Played by Friday, gone to Thurston. Now. Oh, straight back to Paul Gallon. Paul was right out. Six again for Queensland, who've lost seven to Seaver going up the tunnel. We'll get news of that. Miles! Miles with a charge! Ten metres out in front of the upright southern end of the ground. Played by Nate Miles from Smith. Johnson, short, cut, behind. Slate along, and it goes over the sideline. Now, in that play there, you see where the Maroons are lacking a Darren Lockyer's composure and ability at second receiver. It's a simple play. All they want to do is pop it out the back, create the numbers on the outside. They've got it, but the pass goes astray. Well, that's the third or fourth time we've seen the same play. I still think the outside men, Cooper and Quinn, are handling it well. They're not committing themselves. We're not too concerned about the decoy running in close to the ruck. Blues now. At 10 points to nil, they lead. Two tries to Anthony Quinn. One conversion for Craig Fitzgibbon, who started the game. And Ben Cross was on the bench for the start. He's now out there. Stewart a dummy half, and this is Cross. He had a very big game in that match I referred to earlier, the City Country game. Here is Stewart showing the ball right, showing it left, and then the markers combined to put him away. He knew he had them backpedalling. Gaznier a run. And Gaznier is taken down by Cam Smith. Right on the New South Wales 40-metre line. Badiris floats one out for Wallace, who gets the kick away. And Slater again. This time he uses Brent Tate. Tate held on the 30-metre line. Yeah, well, Tate recognised he's got to go back and start having a few runs for him. Keep, keeping it, keep kicking it to Slater. Falau's going to have to come in and help too. Look at the Blues here, swarming in. It's Israel Falau underneath the swarm. Three and four of them again in the tackle as they go away to Thurston and on to Thigh Day. When you've got that many numbers in the tackle, there's bound to be some opportunities out there, and that's why they spread it quickly. Now young Hammond, one of the two players on debut for Queensland from the Burley Bears originally. 
Then for Thurston, it's gone to Johnson. 95 kilograms of him with a hell of a motor inside him, though. And Simon Siva back from the dressing room onto the bench. No problems at all. Carmichael Hunt deliberately drives it down low. Brett Stewart, no problems. And can run 10 before meeting the defence. And Millie gets through the tackle of Crocker. Yeah, Hodges and Crocker, they had to shut the gate very quickly because Stewart... It was nearly gone. Here's Cooper doing the dance at the moment, but he's pulled down by Ben Hannon. And held by Nate Miles, and now they approach the 40-meter line. Mason goes over it. And again, Carmichael Hunt goes in and hits him around the flies in a conventional tackle. The great Raper is here tonight. He's watching, and he'd be loving what Hunt is doing. Played by Ryan Hoffman, who's been on the end of most of them. Wallace got the way, then a, a flying take by Anthony LaFranchi. From the Titans, be only the second Titan, I would imagine, to wear the blue jumper. As the ball goes down again for Slater to come back out to the 20 and then beyond it all, Cooper squashes him. He's having a fine game, Matt Cooper. So then it's gone on for Crocker and again they hit him with, with the armament. Here's the tackle from Cooper on Slater. He's technically the best defensive centre in the game, Matt Cooper. Love him as a player. Serving some up tonight. Queensland look rattled here. They're not in this. I know it's early, but they're not in it. And Nate Miles has pulled down a tackle that on Friday night or Sunday I think would have brought a penalty for being high. Thurston's got it on for five day, running wide on the left. And a three-man blues tackle as we see Anthony Tupo about to come into the game. Here's Mason trying to charge down a kick. And Crocker is after it. And so too is Brent Tate. And Tate is able to get the ball back, and Hodges dives on it, but it's gone forward. Well, that was a great opportunity, Gus. And they had a little bit of luck with the, the rebound off Mason. Well, it's a, a super opportunity, and probably at the end of it, a little rush of blood. Cooper getting some running repairs. But I probably think that the fact that they were 10 behind on the scoreboard made them rush this. You now, it's a deflection, so all these players are on side. Tate will grab it. There's an obviously a chance here. He's got two inside and two to beat. Had he had his time over again, he may have taken the ground. Because they're 10 behind, he probably rushed it. So New South Wales with this 10-point lead. And under 10 minutes to go in the first half. And they're playing the ball now just outside their 40-metre line. Nice first touch from Anthony Tutu. This is the type of impact off the bench that New South Wales have got. Cross follows him up. Cross getting it away well. Mason's with it. And then intercepted by Tate. Spun out quickly for Cam Smith. And Smith will play the ball on the Queensland 40-metre line. Played for Crocker. And Crocker delivers for Thurston. But coming up was Gaznia preventing any thought of a pass from Thurston. And then coming in to make the tackle was LaFranchi, who makes that tackle with Wallace. And Tupo goes in in number 17 to put three into the tackle. And they're on the halfway line, the Maroons. Here is Falau going for a run, and he's able to gain something like 12 metres before being pulled down by Mason and company, including Cross and LaFranchi. Now Smith gets it on, Nate Miles takes it up, and he'll play the ball 28 metres out from the Blues line. 10-0 in favour of the Blues. Two tries, one conversion, plays nothing. And Thurston puts a kick in. Here comes Hayne, and there goes the fullback Stewart. And eventually it was a no contest. Well, New South Wales came into this game knowing the danger of the high kicking game from Queensland. But the players off the football are getting in good positions to shield the catcher, making it very difficult for the chasers to get through. But they avoid doing it illegally, but they're getting in good body position. Gaznia drags sideways towards the sideline. Peter Wallace, a dummy half. Cross wants a run to clear. This is Ben Cross. Playing the ball just outside the 20. Came from Bateman's Bay originally. Played with Quimbian. Here is Bird. Playing the ball just outside the 30 metre line. Kick from Wallace, sending Slater across urgently. Bounce friendly for Slater. And to the 30-metre line, they go up and they hit him again. He's taken some punishment, Billy. It's getting monotonous, isn't it? Now it's away for Falau. And Falau is able to... Oh, half a break. He's 
done well with limited opportunities. Now he's going looking for more. As Taylor's tackle, he's been busy. He's been very good, Brent Tate. Now Smith gives it to Crocker and Crocker. Oh, Crocker! On the end of the pile driver from Mason. Dallas Johnson ahead, giving it to Ben Hannon. He's tackled on the 40 meter line, center ground at the ANZ Stadium. And Thurston puts in a shortish kick, which goes straight to Jared Hayne. And you mustn't give him too much free space. Change my puts in the familiar hog, plays the ball, Stewart's with him. Penalty Blues. That was lovely positional play there by Jared Hayne. He saw Thurston go around the right-hand side of the field, and when his fullback Brett Stewart went across to that side, he came back towards the post. Here's the crocker, Willie Mason, bang, right under the rib cartilage. Introduces him to the ANZ turf in no one certain manner. Let's hear it, Blues fans, for your team. The Blues up to the halfway line, and Queensland dishing it out on that occasion for White. Yeah, that was Crocker. That was his reply. Michael Crocker doesn't ask for any favours, doesn't give any. Wallace across, Bird in, decoy run, Stewart on, Gaznia with the ball. Gaznia is 30 away from the Queensland line. Now back for LaFranchi, and LaFranchi hits and spins and gives it. Stewart, Gaznia, Gaznia a fan, Gaznia! Scored on debut last year, game number two, came in for the Anthony, injured Anthony Minicello. And New South Wales came the left and went back the right and took advantage of some great evasive work from Gaznia. And Franken gets the football away and they go back. Stewart, his first touch on the Gaznia, shapes the pass, gets rid of Thurston with the fend and then throws it back one handed. The second touch for Brett Stewart goes very close to the, the dead ball line, but all the time improving the position for his kicker. With a kick to go. There is Craig Bellamy in the coach's box. Uh, Craig Bellamy, twice the coach of the year. Looking out, I would imagine, very proudly, knowing though the job is nowhere near done. We're almost a sixth of the way through the series but this youngster this is a a great story a great rugby league story well i call him the magician from manly brett stewart has just scored his second origin try he has scored 77 tries at club level from 96 club games a diabetic who works hard in that field now to reassure others that there is life after diagnosis. And he's doing a damn fine job of that, and he's doing a great job of his rugby league career. One of the brothers from down again in Wollongong, the Illawarra. And Peter Wallace is offline. Matty Johns. Just have a look at LaFranchi here for a second. At the moment, you, when he goes up, to brace himself for the tackle, the athleticism and the footwork of our forwards, just that slight footwork at the last second, it's proven a big difference in this contest. The athleticism of our forwards is allowing us to suffocate Queensland in defence and answer back in attack. I told you weeks ago, and I stand by, he's the best I've seen. Mark Gaznia. I didn't see the old boys play, but he's the best centre in my time in the game. And he just made that look so easy. He's a real handful to tackle. His uncle Reg in the crowd following the presentation of the New South Wales centenary side. As it goes along the line out to LaFranchi, who's really so wide now, but he's, he's very effective. But Deiris for Gaznia now. He steps out of another. Thurston hangs on like a leech. Out from the New South Wales line. Wallace has proved lovely out there in that number seven jumper. People were worried about him, particularly in view of Jared Mullen and the start that, that poor youngster had last year. But that was at Suncorp. And oh, it's out on the full just as we started wrapping. 
Well, just as I started rapping, let me put my hand up. Probably his first blemish. 14 nil the scoreline in favour of the Blues. Three tries though, indicating dominance. Now Ben Hannon was able to beat White and then went off to his right to be tackled by four of the Blues. So we're nearly at half time, and I can't see any enthusiasm or intensity dropping off with the New South Wales defence. And it's really got the Queenslanders rattled. Smith, Thurston, and then Lilliman is on in 17. New South Wales, 52% of possession. Thurston! So neat was the pass to Inglis. And he'll play the ball close to the line, as you saw. Nine metres out. Here's Cam Smith. Got a decoy, Miles gave to Thurston, given to Hunt, rolls it in for Crocker, chases on with Stewart, but the manly fullback is there first. Capping what will be a wonderful first half for Brett Stewart. A try assist, a try of his own, clean up work good. Low angle shot from that camera. Covering that dead ball area at the southern end. The rail cam giving you another shot as we look down the ground and we see the return of the dropout with oh! Hannett. One, hold! Camera's coming from everywhere. Now we've got the rail cam. <laughs> I used to work for the railways, they didn't have any cameras. Now it's played on the 30-metre line, and it's gone out to Cam Smith, gone to Thurston. Oh, and then he goes back again for Inglis. Geez, thrown a couple of lovely balls, Thurston to Inglis. In the latter part of this first half, Inglis gingerly up. Hunt short for Hannant. Hannant is held and put away. 15 out, centre ground. Smith again! Smith again! They want points before half time. Now it's out for Thurston. Rolls it in. Here's the goal. He missed it. I think Ben Taylor has missed it. The herder in the background. I might be wrong. Ben thinks he got it. I thought just looking through the naked eye, he might have missed it. Matty Johns, a view. Oh, Rabs. My guess at the moment is as good as yours. My first thought is he might have just got a hand on it. Let's have a look at this and slow it down. A big play of this in the context of the game and that's yeah, a try. He's got it. Brent Tate couldn't happen to a nicer bloke. Many would have given the game away long ago given the adversities that Brent Tate has had. He's got himself an origin try and one of the more important tries that Queensland has ever scored. Video referee should concur. Try Queensland. Right on half time. The hooter sounded as Tate laid the hand on it. Mel Meninga was something now to take down to that dressing room. Matty Johns again. Oh, Rabbits. That's going to give Queensland a huge. Emotional boost into half time. First and run it beautifully. He thought about running the ball and he just slipped it in behind. A nice play. Big play from a big player. High five, Thurston and Hunt. He's put a couple of lovely plays to get Thurston in the last five minutes. You see, they've been on the they've been on the bicycle, they've been backpedaling, they've been they've been thumped all over the park by this defense that was non-stop. And they've had a little opportunity to show what we've all been talking about, raving about, the superstar backline. But the New South Welshmen, they were oblivious to big names. They just built at anybody that moved. And they've been in threes and fours. And just recently, in the last five, ten, Thurston started to put some plays together, particularly with Inglis. Then they brought it back from left side to right side. And then... The little kick and one of the best flankers in the game, Brent Tate from the Warriors, scores the try. 
Thurston from sideline. And 14 4 down, misses it. Floats across the face. So three tries to one at the break. Two to Quinn, one to Stewart. Take for Queensland. Welcome back, everybody, to our live coverage on the Nine Network of State of Origin 1 from ANZ Stadium with New South Wales leading at the break by 14 points to four. Three tries. Plays one try, and the Queensland is about to come out. Buoyed, of course, by a try right on the halftime siren scored by Brent Tate. Tremendous first half. Obviously for the Blues, three tries, that's a moral victory, and it was something defence. And I'm not forgetting some of the outstanding defence from Queensland, particularly from Carmichael Hunt. Queensland coming back. They've come back from a half-time deficit ten times to win. In game one last year, they were down 18-6 at half-time. They won that one 25-18. So beware of a Queensland comeback. And they've done it on 10 occasions. New South Wales, though it doesn't count tonight, have only done it on five occasions. Talking of the Blues, they're on their way back. To be greeted by a very good crowd. That is in the area, I think, of 75,000, which would be a record opening game crowd. For a series, it was set here. 72773 in 2006. I might be wrong, but I think they might have it. The Blues back with a lot of the questions probably already answered. How would Wallace go? How would Bird go? By the way, the Wheel of Fortune is back weeknights, and in a world first, the players can spin for a million bucks. The all-new million-dollar Wheel of Fortune starts Monday at 5.30 all around the nation. Except for you people barracking for the Maroons, you'll see it at 5 o'clock. So you get in first. Jill try scorer Quinn, Ben Cross started the match off the bench. Tony Archer started his origin career this year, and he blows time on to his first game in the second half. And Thurston takes it a shallow kick, coming down on the 20 metre line. <laughs> I think it was a miss kick. Redbird not his best, let me. The kicking tee almost went further than the ball. I'm glad you told me that because I thought to myself, my God, they're strange tactics. Tate is with the ball now, who breathed the, the life into Queensland that they needed. The resuscitation that they wanted came under that right hand of Brent Tate, right on half-time. So Cameron Smith passes to Lilliman, and Lilliman is hit, and hit hard by the New South Wales defence of Tupo and LaFranchi. To the right they go away to Johnson, who went for a step at his right foot, Left a big divot in the soil. Now it's gone for Smith and gone on to Thurston. Charged down off the rump of Hoffman. Recovered by Slater. And that's, uh, that's Slater for you from a standing start to explosive. Passes. Came off a blue that didn't plant the ball. Or did it? Pass not played out. Passed into him. The New South Wales speed. That is the third time. At Queensland have thrown the ball away first or second tackle. That was bad play from Billy Slater. Really bad play. They got out of jail with the call for six again, even though Hoffman had his back turned. And he just bites off a little more than he can chew, trying to get around Cooper. I told you, technically the best centre in the game in defence. Here's Gasly out. A fan in a sprint. He's got miles of pace. Support coming. He steps away from him. And is tackled beautifully. Ben Hannon, who Gaznia, it's easy with hindsight, had a player in his inside, now it's from White to Wallace and Wallace to LaFranchi, he steps well for a big man, back on the line Queensland, Wallace spins and passes, 
gets it to Medeiros. It bounces twice. It's picked up by the Blues. Picked up by Hoffman. It's ten away from the line now. He got collared by Hodges. Crowd don't like it. Medeiros out of dummy half. Now it's with Bird. And Bird oh, wrestled down. Oh, oh, Marone's oh, hanging on for dear life. Hodges the tackler. Wallace the kicker. Looking for Stewart. And they go. Queensland ball. Beautiful take by Inglis. That's brilliant by Inglis. And the New South Wales side very cleverly didn't kick all the way to Falau. They tried to bring it down short of him. If Cooper's the best defensive centre, this fella's the best attacking centre. That was brilliant. Probably bombed the try with the lack of pass, but his speed there to get on the outside of Inglis was exceptional. Now Queensland. Ball being played on the 40-metre line by Hannon. And here's Miles with the ball now. Six or seven metres on their own side of halfway. Cameron Smith for Dallas Johnson. Johnson... Just inching it over the halfway line. Tackled by Tupo. Thurston puts a kick down the ground. It's bouncing into the end goal. He'll have to play at it. He does. Stewart. Here they come. Hodges leads the race and he wins again. Oh. Great chase, Hodges. Super chase. And I think you'll find from the look on his face, Brett Stewart was surprised that they got down there so quickly. He thought he had more time. Real momentum changer. Something like this. Gets there comfortably, turns around, and well, he's there. I've got to get out. Too late. He's brilliant, Hodges, isn't he? He just picks him up and throws him back like a rag dog. So, the dropout is returned by Nate Miles. Luckily, he missed the shoulder of Ben Cross. He'll play the ball, Miles. Tackled eventually by Hoffman. Now, Hannon. Starts to roll it up the middle of the ground. Across the top of the 4X sign, he'll play the ball. 25 metres out from the Blues line. Smith, oh! Dallas Johnson didn't know what part he was playing. Thurston had to clean it up, and he was taken by Badiris. Then it's away from Smith and gone on the hunt. The pass suspect to Crocker. And Crocker will play the ball 21 metres out. 20 metres in from touch, eastern side. Smith then works it back to centre. Johnson! After a mistake trying to get it right, and I think there's been a little bobble. Well, he's knocked it on. He's knocked it on. They've really looked out of sorts in attack all night, the Queenslanders. Standing a little bit flat, no momentum, and not really sure who's the dominant ball player. You would assume it's Thurston, but he's not getting much support from the likes of Carmichael Hunt. I've got to say Cameron Smith is extremely quiet out of dummy half. Long way to go, though. Plenty of grandstand jockeys. Should I say bench jockeys? Sam Fiday and then Willie Mason riding every tackle, riding every play from the benches. Here's Cooper, 28 metres away from his own line. Played for Quinn to run from dummy half and pick up seven or eight metres. And three Queenslanders converge. Crocker and Hammond and Smith. Now some decoys go, trying to take some heat away from White. And he'll play the ball just outside his own 40-metre line. But Dearest quickly away to Hoffman. Hoffman looking for some space. And again, he's tackled by Carmichael Hunt right on the halfway line. Wallace got a kick in. Johnson came at him. It was quite legitimate. Fielded back there by Slater in the deep. Throws a long, long pass away to Brent Tate, which suggested that the number one for Queensland is looking for somebody else to take it back rather than him just to get some oxygen back in the lungs. Here's Falau. Well, Tate got the football back to where Billy Slater passed it from. Well, I did go centre field, makes it a little bit easier to get out of your own end. But even this far out, next point's crucial in this game. New South Wales can get a comfortable lead. It'll be very hard to run down if Queensland make it 14-10. <laughs> and New South Wales will get very nervous. Ball play by Ben Hammond to Smith, and then a short ball for Miles. And this New South Wales defence again has tightened up. They've only had one really sloppy period, and that was right on half time. Thurston plugging it down. Stewart gets a nice bounce. Quinn rushes back to help him. Here comes Hodges down the ground. And Hodges and Brent Tate, gee, they're formidable, aren't they? Down that 
right side, although it was down that side that Quinn got his first try. So maybe they're pegging even Stevens at the moment as Quinn again loses his footing just inside his own 30 metre line. As Smith makes the tackle with Hammond and Johnson. Johnson, a tackling machine, racking them up with gay abandon. Now it's uh, LaFranchi thrusting it out for Wallace, and Wallace loses it. Fortuitously, it came down to Baderas. It's gone away to Bird, and Bird has to chop his way through. And a penalty goes to the Blues. Two in the tackle, ball stripped as the call. Big period coming up here. Big period. Both sides have worried, have weathered a little bit of a worry there. Hodges with his hand on the ball. I think that's a fair play. I don't think it's a penalty. Silly rule. Anyway, New South Wales now get an opportunity, as Sterlow says, to score first points in this half. They can really apply that's some pressure here in this game. Blue they blue handle these next four or five minutes well. So Badera is taking the tap, and Cross will get it up to the... Oh, what a stupid pass. First tackle, and thrusting it back into the Queensland possession. Crocker's with it now. Wow. Now the ball comes out. There should be... No, it's a scrum according to Archer. They might look at it. I was about to explain to our audiences, particularly Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth, in a two-man tackle, you cannot steal the ball. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, you can. That's what this debate's about at the moment. If Queensland are livid that they haven't gone up to have a look at this. Crocker's got the football. He's lost it. What's he going to He's lost it, Cole. Ben Cross admonishing himself. He was the man that threw the pass. And also the most relieved man out there now with Queensland making a mistake almost immediately. Here's Greg Bird going short for Cooper. And Matt Cooper will play it. Just inside his own half, in fact, right on the halfway line. Played it back to his St George centre teammate, Mark Gaznia. He's being entertained by the French rugby union people. Now LaFranc is upended. Put away a solid tackle by Greg Inglis. 35 away from the line. It's out to Wallace. He gives a short ball back to Cross. And the big fellow hammers it up to the 30 metre line. And Miles stands over the top of him in 16. Badira sweeps it across. Uh, Fitzgibbon goes to Wallace. Here's Bird. Bird with a good run, ending 17 metres away. Play quickly. Badira knows the blind side's the way to go. Gets the ball to Tupo. And Tupo will take it to ground on the end of the tackle car. Andrew, how are you seeing it down there at the moment? I've been impressed with Greg Bird's running game. Spoke to him about half time about Peter Wallace just to control the sets and to get a good kick on. And for Greg Bird to play like next back row and just take him on, they can't handle his footwork at the moment. Andrew Johns on the nine commentary team and on the Craig Bellamy coaching staff from the sideline tonight with Laurie Daly and with Ben Aiken and Phil Gould and Peter Sterling and of course the great Wally Lewis. That's the first time I've ever seen Andrew Johns tense. <laughs> a little bit of a coaching role down there and the nerves are going. Here's Smith. Held up by Tupo. Cronulla bound next year. Crossing the tackle, played by Smith, and the 14 is out there now. PJ Marsh. And this ball is going to just dribble away over the sideline on the eastern side. Match going around the UK on Satanta and going through Asia on the Australia channel. And a very good friend of ours is watching in Harry's Bar. Fancy finding him in a bar in Singapore, Ian Frickberg. G'day, big fella. And a big cheerio to you and your mates. In fact, it was him who got us a job, Sterlo, back in 1991. One of the world's great men and certainly a television man. And if he's in that bar, he would have lots of friends. Matty John, sideline. Rabbits, just have a look at the markers in New South Wales. Craig Bellamy's really done his work. On the, on the hook at Cameron Smith, who he coaches at Melbourne. New South Wales markers aren't going at Smith, and they're not fighting out. They're holding either side. They're not inviting him to run, and they're not letting him slip. He's uh, runners over the advantage line. It's great work so far. This is Jared Hayne with the ball as the Blues penetrate, and they come away from the 30 with Fitzgibbon. And Craig, who played 
in five grand finals, or I should say has played in five grand finals. He's won only one. But his record in origin, as I said at the start of the night, 75% win ratio. As Wallace gets a kick away, good kick, good kick from inside the 40. And Slater, not stopping it, breaking away from the tackle. Slater's over the 40, he's over the halfway. Here's Inglis, he's a flying machine, gets a fin, tippy toes down the sideline, throws the ball, it goes away to Thurston, throws it away to Miles, Miles on the helmet, here they come again, the Maroons. Ah, oh, you'd almost swear blind, you've seen this before. Now it's away by Hodges, Hodges, two metres from the line. Oh my God, what was that? I was waiting for Mark Coyne to score in the corner. Now Thurston, Thurston for Cameron Smith, Gaznia came up real the tackle 18 meters away from the blues line what a moment in the game Thurston getting it back for Lillyman and he'll play the ball 10 away then from PJ Marsh to Nate Miles and he flicks it out the back and you can understand with the score line at what it is against his team you can understand that the dearest plays it. And for those of the viewers at home that may not have seen some Origin games, if you're looking for Mark Coyne out there, he's not, but he did score a great Origin try in the past after such a, a movement. End to end stuff, plenty of hands involved. This is Quinn. Interchanges six for the Blues, four for the Maroons. We're playing with a maximum of ten interchanges. Quinn is with the ball after Stewart had had a handle. 21 out from their own line, the Blues. It's gone over to Hoffman, and there's that man again. Carmichael oh, Hunt with a shoulder. Hoffman will be having nightmares about this bloke. Can he handle 5-8? I, I think he might have answered that as far as defence is concerned. Here is Falau with the ball now. Yeah, having said that, Ray, look, he is hitting hard and often, but it's not the role I want my Carmichael Hunt to play. It is my 5-8. It's not the energy expended in that area of the game that I want him to, to have the influence. I take your point that he seems to be enjoying it, coach. Miles. Now from Marsh. It's gone to Thurston. They go second man. Hunt passes. Put down. Knocked on. Hodges. Advantage play. No. He's not ordered that. He must have got another knock on, did he? Over there from Cooper. Good pressure from the New South Wales side again. Queensland have not appreciated. See, they know that Carmichael Hunt is not comfortable ball-playing role. So they're racing up on him really quickly. Now, here's the action that set the stadium alight. Slater taps it back in field, picks it up, goes downfield. He'll stop and get it on the outside to Inglis. Palms off one, palms off another. Tippy Toe's got to throw it back in field. The Blues nearly have it, but it's picked up by Thurston. Goes wide. We haven't got time to fit it all in. They nearly went the length of the field and scored a miraculous try. Penalty goes to the Blues, back chatting. He's advanced the mark by 10. I think it might have been Miles. Don't hold me to it. But he was in the closest proximity to the ref. Now, Craig Fitzgibbon has walked up and said he's thinking about a shot at goal. He went and grabbed the ball. But now he's relented and given it back to Wallace. I'll keep the pressure on. It was Bird taking it up there. I don't know what the penalty was for. I can't see much wrong with that. But Craig Fitzgibbon looked at the scoreboard and thought I could extend this to a 12-point lead. They thought about it and then decided to kick the touch. Ben Hornby is out there. Oh, jolting tackle from Lillian on LaFranchi. Hornby then sweeps it for Fitzgibbon. And again, just showing you how slippery it can get. This time of the year in Sydney away from Hornby to Wallace and flat across the face. Hitting Greg Bird. 15 away and he's lost the ball. He's lost the ball with a chance looming. And the skipper Danny Badiris has been given a breather. And obviously there will be a, a new skipper out there. There's a hint of a hand there from Michael Crocker. It's it. It's it, 
couple of mistakes from both sides now, just taking the wind out of respective sails. And still, these first point second half are, are all important. I'm just reminding you that Queensland, in a half-time deficit situation, have come back ten times for victory. And most recently, they did it in the corresponding game last year. They were down by more than this, and they came back and won last year. I think it was 18-6, and it was turned into 25-18. Just on their own side of halfway, Hodges, desperate for a run, held by Hoffman and Gallon. I've got to say, Ray, the Blues' defence looks comfortable. I don't want to mock them, but they really haven't given up much of the Queenslanders all night. The only Queensland try was a grubber kick. Other than that, they've handled them expertly. Hey, Wallace. Here's Cameron Smith putting a kick away for Jared Hayen. And Hayen coming off the northern end and runs across, and he was able to get past Lilliman's tackle. But eventually he's put down and forced to play the ball by Cameron Smith as we go down for a comment from Laurie Daly. Yeah, this is where we see a difference between this New South Wales team and the teams in the past two series. At the 60th minute mark in the last five games, New South Wales have been behind only on one occasion, yet have gone on to lose four times. Will that pattern continue tonight, or have New South Wales got a new resolve? The skipper back on the bench. Doesn't normally like being benched, he just likes to keep going but Ben Hornby is doing the dummy half work and Peter Wallace drives it down the ground and it's with Billy Slater, he's outside his own 20, he's outside the 30 and Hayne upends him together with Gaznia to play the ball back to Falau, he takes it away from the sideline, takes it over towards that uh, 20 metre line in from the western touchline tackled by Hornby and here's Carmichael Hunt away from dummy half and Hornby Makes a fair tackle from front marker. Played by Hunt. Smith comes back. They go up the middle. Fide. And he's met by a don't argue tackle. Three of them. Tupo, Hornby and Lafranchi. Smith now realises no markers. Pinches about 20 metres. Takes it down to the New South Wales 40 metre line. Marsh in 14. Passes to Thurston. Thurston puts a kick in. Gallon comes in late. Ball goes down to Quinn in the field of play. They go through and think about forcing him back, but he finds the ground. Went looking for the dirt and found it to Anthony Quinn. Here's Cooper with the ball now. Ray, I can't understand Queensland's attitude in playing Folau on the left wing. He plays on the right side for his club ever since he came into first grade. And in the city country, they were able to get over the cross of Anthony Quinn with a couple of bombs to Jared Hay. And I would have suspected that would have been the battle all night. Palau over the top of Quinn, but Palau's out here on the left and doesn't look comfortable at all. Fitzgibbon to the 30 metre line. He's watching Carmichael Hunt and Jonathan Thurston folding off to the right side of the defence. They're one and two right side defenders at the moment now. It's with Slater, and he's put down and tackled a couple of metres into Blues territory. Wallace and Lafranchi. His thigh day running at Hornby. Tried to turn him into a speed arm. He'll play the ball, Samuel. Played back to Marsh, short ball, Inglis. But he runs into Tupo, puts a bear hug on him. And then they wrestle him down, Wallace and Tupo. 30 away, centre ground. And away from Marsh, it's gone to Sivan Asiba. And Fitzgibbon hangs on. So the great man, he plays the ball. The great warrior he has been for Queensland. Petro Sivan Asiba. 12 metres, he's not used to this, not used to being on the, the end of what looks like a beating at the moment. Certainly not irreversible, up they go! The aerial contest comes down to the Blues, but it'll be a penalty for offside. Well, I think there was some interference there from one of the New South Wales players, Ray. It may have been Greg Bird. Deliberately battered back by Brent Tate. He was going to be picked up by a Queensland support player. I'll just have a look at one of the... New South Wales playing back to Paul Gallen. Deliberately plays at Carmichael Hunt before he got to the football. Spot on. Big moment here, Rabbits. Big chance for Queensland. Lily, man. Don't bother telling me, tell the Blues. They're the ones that have got to repel it. Marsh, dummies to seven to Seaver, swerves around a would-be tackle, finds Miles, and Miles will play it. Three metres out from the Blues line. They compress, they compress in the middle. The ball goes loose, and um, Hodges couldn't handle it. Now it's gone out to Tate, he'll score. No, it's called back. It's called back to where the 
ball came out towards Hodges. Well, that was terrible play and great pressure from the Blues. Terrible play. Awful pass at that stage of the game when you're so close to the line. You can see the Blues getting up very quickly to force some pressure. They were outnumbered, took the odds to it, forced the error. Well, I know he's a fresh player out there and they're looking for a Sean Berrigan-like performance, but with PJ Marsh into the action now, to me it's just taken Cameron Smith out of this game. He's hardly handled the football the last three sets. And he's the man I think that should be a dummy half handling all the time. Well, Tina, their previous set of six for that, they had five hit-ups in New South Wales into the field. No ball movement at all. 14 to 4. Half-time score unchanged. Played by Jared Hayne. He's been safe, he's been composed. This is his other winger. Anthony Quinn, two tries. What more can you say on debut? Hornby, Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon tackled eight yeah. metres short of halfway. There's an injury to Hunt, I think. Yeah, contact there. You see some, some blood, I think, on the forehead of Craig Fitzgibbon as well. There would have been a clash here between the two. There's Fitzy, yeah, head clash. I think Fitzgibbon might have come off worse, doesn't have a lot of protection up there. Carmichael Hunt. Gee whiz. They've just kept charging at him all night, one after the other. Bird, Hoffman, Fitzgibbon, Mason. He's taken them all on. Look to take it on the cheekbone. The final of Fitzgibbon just now on the blue on the uh, maroon side of halfway. Hornby drills it down into the corner, fielded by Slater. Palau is back with him, but he won't go to him. He's over on the sideline, and Slater taken by Gaznia and Lafranchi, who's worked hard. Again, one of the players on debut, Lafranchi. A huge game. Marsh across, Sivan to Siva. Was the decoy, they lose the ball. And Hoffman gives it away to Cooper. Cooper trying to get outside. Now comes back on the inside. A crunching tackle from Paul Gallen and Jacob Lilliman forced the mistake. Six again signaled by the referee. Play by Cooper, Quinn, Fitzgibbon. Hoffman hit with a good one. Taken down by Sivan to Siva. Ball to be played back for Quinn, and Quinn looks out for Wallace. Wallace is with the ball. He picks up Mason. Mason at seven to Seba. Back for Gallon. Gallon away. The 16 is Lafranchi. And they're five metres out from the Queensland line. 14 to 4, the Blues lead. Gaznia rifles it away. Wallace takes it in off the outside edge. And oh, Key Hodges had it, lost it. We'll take a break and back in a moment. Bellamy, he can go off. Line drop out. Down and fielded by Stewart. It's given the carry. This is the second tackle following the line drop out from Queensland and the Blues at 20 metres away with a 14-4 lead and here is Mason and Mason made to play the ball 12 metres away reasonably fresh legs and this is where he's at his most dangerous bird in for Gallon Gallon he's a metre away held there by Slater good work by him Hornby then low for Wallace quickly up to Stewart now to Gaznia Gaznia beautifully tackled by Inglis Right on the sideline. Nine metres out, last tackle. Wallace puts it across the ground. The jump is on, and it's Thurston. Thurston coming down with the ball from a good contest involving about four of them. And with 15 minutes to go, the body language very much favouring New South Wales. But the scoreline, just 10 points. It is not enough for them to believe that this one is is anywhere near over
Possession still 50-50 and plenty of time for Queensland through Sivan Siva. Marsh, Thurston to get back into this one. Cal Webb coming on. Nate Miles is the man who placed. And he's lost it, Jonathan Thurston. Strong tackle, Anthony Quinn. Twice the player of the year. And Jonathan Thurston loses the ball. And there, aware of how big that play was, that mistake from Thurston, it's 30 away from the Queensland line and a chance with six to wrap it up. Yeah, they can put it beyond doubt here. You talk about body language, just looking at this Queensland side, trying to find someone fresh enough who might be able to instigate the comeback. But they all look pretty worn out. Their defensive rates are up there. They've been in their own half of the field for a while now. They're struggling. Here's Stewart coming in from a deepish position on the field. Plays it for Hayne, and Hayne put a fend on Inglis, but Inglis, oh, Inglis went back after him, snapped him over, did uh, Thide coming over the top. Always makes me shudder when I see something like that. He's okay, Jared Hayne. Now it's Wallace giving it away for Gallon, and Gallon is 21 out. Three tries to the Blues in the first half. One right on half time for the Maroons. Here's Mason. Nine metres out from the line. Yeah, this is the area Bird and Gallon come into the rain. Very dangerous, close to the line. Hornby waiting. And spins it away after a slow play the ball to Fitzgibbon. To Wallace, they're keeping depth in it. Bird. Here's Gaznia on one hand. He turns. We can't get the referee to celebrate just yet. They've got upstairs to Bill Harrigan and Tim Mander. It was beautifully set up off the Jonathan Thurston mistake. Come to the side and this cutout pass coming up from Greg Bird after Wallace finds him is outstanding. Straight across the face of LaFranchi. It, it held the defence up and allowed Gasnier to get on the outside. And once he's on the outside, whoosh. And then the one-handed pass, as we've seen a couple of times tonight, back into Anthony Franke, 18th man for Australia. He's come off the bench tonight for New South Wales and got what we believe is, the, well, I believe is the match winner. That's a beauty. This side has been very well coached. Very well played, too, by everyone who's taken part. But take your hat off to the man who has constructed this offence and got it working so nicely. talked about it, the mistake from Jonathan Thurston. It would give the Blues the opportunity to shut it down. And one would have to think that's the way it's going to be. This will be one of the easier kicks for Fitzgibbon. It'll take them to 20 points to four. And you would think a 16-point break will be enough with 12 to go. LaFranchi from the Titans, just the second player in a blue jumper for our youngest club. Having such a wow of a year is the club. It's been a roller coaster ride for LaFranchi this year. And his football has gone from one height to another, as has the Gold Coast Titans. Now, Fitzgibbon. The man who is just so happy to be a part of it. They started with him tonight. He's only got one so far, but he hasn't been the goal kicker all night, and he's missed it again. So, Matthew Johns on the sideline. Luke Rabs just want to talk about young Peter Wallace. We're 15 minutes to go. The game on the line, have a look at the composure. He kicks for the repeat set of six. He kicks quality again. Now, he doesn't get the repeat set, but he makes Queensland go 100, and in the next set, they come up with an error. Then he guides the ship for a try. Great work, Peter the Wallace. Rams, Matthew, coming over the top of you with apologies. They're not beat yet. That is for sure. Friday, long, Cameron Smith up his right foot. Good play by Hoffman. He came up with Bird and channeled them back in. 
played by Cameron Smith. Back for seven. A Seaver! A charge at the line. A metre short. The Penrith captain. Back for Marsh. And the pass. Horrible. Out for Smith to scoop it up. Then it's away for Thurston. Oh, Billy Slater! How do you do? Anthony Quinn wrapped him up, embraced him, and put him away. Carl Webb taken by Wallace. Played back quickly. Marsh, Thurston, dummy, then kicked off. Beautiful play by Thurston. Not the end result, but not many people can do what he just did. He's fired a few bullets tonight, Thurston. He's been on both sides of the field looking for something to inspire the Queenslanders. But the Blues defence, here's the short kickoff. God, they've got some tricks this side. Managed to come up with a true full hour. Speculator back on the inside. Inglis nearly scored from the kickoff. Unbelievable. But the Quinn and Cooper defensive combination on the left hand side of the field has rattled the Queenslanders up tonight. They've been outstanding in defence. They are the Houdinis of Rugby League. Any team that wears a maroon jumper. We've sat through it and watched it unfold over the years. You can't count anything until the fat lady sings. Just on Matt Cooper, who played the football there. He's been outstanding in defence and had more touches tonight with the football than he's had, well, I think, in, in club level. I, just, I think he's been the best player in the field. And Slater, first bounce. Head centre field, and look at the chase again, led by led by Gallen. Gallen wrapping him up. Here's Israel Fillet taking it out beyond the 30 metre line. Played it there, and the wizard signed. They've been a great supporter of the the Blues over a long period of time. To the 40 metre line, and played by Carmichael Hunt. Cameron Smith, a face pass over for Carl Webb. And coming in late, and he could have been penalised for a flop. In fact, he should have been. Mason Smith had seven to seven with him, got it to Thurston. Now Cooper has channeled in at six more tackles, touched over there, and it's with Justin Hodges. Hodges to play the ball then, just inside the Blues 40 metre line. Thurston goes short for seven to seven, back towards middle ground. Tackled by Gallon, working overtime as Paul Gallon. And now it's Dallas Johnson who's tackled. 30 metres out. Right in the centre of the ground, running towards the northern end of the Olympic Stadium. Thurston throws the kick at them this time, and Stewart! Stewart goes across and bats it over the sideline. Yeah, good football from both sides, yeah. Nice kick from Thurston, deliberately for Justin Hodges. He was chasing just at the right time, and Brett Stewart, so quick, batted it over the sideline, taking no chances. What's wrong with that crowd? Or oh, just looking at this shot, Phil, take us through this. Yeah, well, it's a speculator, isn't it? They're looking for something. They're trying to pull a rabbit out of their hat to get a quick one, but Stewart was uh, awake to it. I, I, look, Scott Prince has got to be in this Queensland side somewhere. Whether it's at half five eight or on the bench, they've desperately lacked a creative player tonight. They've missed Lockie up. Scott Prince has got to be the next best ball player. Here's Slater putting something together with Hunt and then Hodges. He spins away. Willie Mason. It's Willie Mason who's bent him over late. And he's pushed the ball out at the depth as well. That's why the penalty goes against him. Looks certain to score. Play on. Here's Carl Webb with the ball. Flopping it down to Johnson. Johnson away for first and Quick hands, Carmichael. Brent Tate for number two. Corner post went, but I don't know who took it. Well, he's going to have a look at the corner post. I think if there is a problem for Brent Tate, it may be the, the back half of the body. But again, he looks confident that he's got his second of the night. Offload from Carl Webb. Promoted it to the right-hand side through the hands. And then Webb coming at the post. Look at the back part of his body. No, his, his boot touches the line there. No try. Is so that Hoffman underneath there? Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff, 18 to 4 in front. And, and Ryan Hoffman comes up with a Queensland play. They're the ones usually saving tries from nowhere. Well, an easy decision here for Bill Harrigan. The red marking on the boot clearly coming up on the on the white line. 
So Queensland don't normally make mistakes with their selections. But they made a mistake tonight. The boys in the fuzzy blue here have had a great time. Hodges, this was a great effort by Mason over the top to lock the ball up and stop him from scoring. Pushed him back into the field of play. Now he was penalised there for stripping, which I don't think he should have been. He was in the act of trying to score a try. And great work from Hoffman to save one in the corner. Tremendous Blues defence. Wallace, away for Bird, and oh, Bird on the end of a corker of a tackle from Dallas Johnson. I said to you earlier, there's not much of him. I think he's 95 kilos, but I reckon he must have been eating bananas before he weighed in. Well, he showed his toughest last year, Ray, in that the final game he was knocked out in the very first tackle of the game. Came back later and worked the joint down as always. Well, Ralph, a tough little nut. Put a good shot in there, though. Here is Mason. Oh, dear, somebody's gone in and taken him oh, badly. It's it Johnson, Johnson, I think. Oh, no. I think it's Johnson we've just been it talking is. about what happened in that game last year and the same things happened to him. He's lost his legs completely. Played by Gazny up. It's gone over to Wallace. Wallace got a kick in. The bounce is favourable for Tate. He comes back towards Slate up and is uh, chopped down by Hornby and held eventually by Cross. Well, Johnson being aided for the foul, I do apologise. By day on the 40 meter line. And Johnson immediately out of there. Friday night will televise in Friday night football, the only game on. The Eagles of Manly will welcome home Brett Stewart. And they take on the Dragons with the Gazniers and the Coopers. And a knock on has been found by Tony Archer. And there's Johnson up the tunnel. He got the knee of Willie Mason as he went in. Bad. Johnson is off. It's always dangerous when you go in head first to a man coming head on to you. Not a nice picture there. Crowd today, 67,620. Well, I thought there were more than that here, but 67,620 is the attendance. 18 to 4 the score. Five minutes of the game to go. And the Blues, like they did last year, were the first try scorers in this match tonight. They're going to go on and win it, but it was a hex, if anything, to be the first try scorer last year because Queensland came away with the title. The start tonight of an endeavour for a three-peat by Queensland. Three series back-to-back. -back. They've done it twice in the 80s. A chance to do it here in the first decade of the new millennium. As Hunt is tackled just inside 30. Played back to English. Then it is with Nate Miles who came back on for Dallas Johnson. Five tackles gone, Maroons. Cameron Smith to the blind side for English. Runs away from Bird. Then gives it over to Thurston. Thurston puts a kick in as he's barreled. The ball comes down to Hodges. He puts a bat on it. And oh, Darren Hayne went for a grab. Now it's with Tate. He puts in a kick. Came down to the Blues. Hoffman's got the ball. Rapid fire. Do we have to wait three weeks to do this again? Can we play next week? I think there's a few bodies out there. will be quite happy that it's a three-week break. They'll be in an ice bath, bath for hours. Can't mind them doing, that's for sure. Cooper will play the ball now. 20 metres away from his own line here, Stewart. And Stewart out towards the 30 metre line, taken down by Fido. It's appropriate that a match of this standard will be played on a day when the big boss of rugby league is warning that we are in the grip of a financial drought and the game could suffer dearly unless a government looks at some of the taxes and what have you and the restrictions placed on the club movement the clubs that had a charter to produce and promote rugby league at senior and junior level here is Tate with a bootlace tackle out there on the 30 meter line by Quinn gee he's had a lovely game for a, de for a debutant he's had a beauty now it's with Crocker and he's seven metres short of halfway. He'll play it back for Cameron Smith. 
Michael Crocker looking down the barrel of his first defeat since when did you say? August 2005 or something? August 2005 and that was a, a one point defeat. So here it is with Thurston, cutting out Inglis, cutting out Thayde, going to Israel. He puts in a kick and it's cleaned up and batted away by Stewart. He is so safe, the manly fullback. In fact, the three most recent Australian fullbacks on show here tonight. Stewart, Hunt and Slater. And the kid from Manly hasn't let the peninsula down. Hasn't let the state down. Same score as game three last year. Which meant little to New South Wales because Queensland had wrapped it up after two. Three peaks. Four of them have happened in the game. New South Wales a couple, Queensland a couple. Nobody's won four in a row. Slater drifting. He's been pursued by Gallon, but Gallon wasn't in the foot race. Now it's with Tate. Tate does a swerve and an arc, and he's tackled. Ten away from the line. We're just under two minutes out, and it's back for seven as Seaver. Shows the ball to Carl Webb, and the big fella with blue jumpers draped off him will play it seven metres out from the line. Cameron Smith goes back for Thurston, goes back in for Hodges. He was going to ground, got it away. Hunter away for now scores. Surely that will be the last try of the night. A brilliant execution by the Maroons. A doubtful pass from Hodges that I'm happy about. Thurston great. And then Falau finishes it. And it should see us go to full time. At, at least 18 points to eight. We'll have an amazing record of scoring the final try in Warrington matches. On this occasion, to no avail, pass back inside. They actually had play on the outside. Thurston would have been better off just immediately going. And Hodges, realising he had to get rid of it, flings it out the back. Carmichael Hunt sums up the situation. And Israel Folau gets the big frame diving over in the corner, despite the attention of Jared Hayne. No problem at all. I think he's been out of position tonight, Folau. I really do. I think he's much better on the right-hand side of the field. Carmichael Hunt's out of position for mine. Like I said earlier, it's very unlike Queensland to make those sort of errors, and they've got to get the thinking cap on for Game 2 to see how they're going to make up the gap. So I guess what we already knew is now in evidence. It is a try at the 79th minute for Queensland. They've scored tries at the very back end of both halves. Tate at the 40th minute, Folau at the 79th minute. And Thurston will attempt conversion from the T-junction at the 20. He's got this, I fancy, bringing it back, drawing it in. And Thurston converts to bring us to 18 to 10. With under a minute to play, Israel Folau Rookie of the Year, set up Melbourne try scoring record last year, won a premiership, became the youngest man ever to play test football for Australia. Now on debut with Origin, here's another debutant gets a try. That'll be three for the night. Three for the night, and Quinn got two, LaFranchi got one, Folau got one. How often do you see it? Debut players coming in, having not only big games, but getting tries. As we count down the last seconds now, 19 seconds left in what has been a tremendous New South Wales victory and food for thought for the Queensland selectors as they try to square the series in three weeks' time at Suncorp Stadium. There's the man who orchestrated it, Craig Bellamy. Wonderful job. The leading coach in the NRL. An outstanding debut for him at New South Wales' origin level. Brett Stewart handles the ball for the last time in the game. Takes it over the sideline, and New South Wales leads 1-0 in the 2008 battle for the origin. An 18-10 victory, four tries to two in front of a crowd of 67,000 people. Quinn on debut got two tries.
Stewart at the 35th minute scored. LaFranchi, Dubu at the 68th minute. And for Queensland, Tate right at the back end of the half. And Falau on Dubu at the 79th minute. We are all even again. 82 matches gone. New South Wales wins 40. Queensland wins 40. And the draws are two. And now, 17 points between the two clubs after something like 109 hours of football. That is an incredible sporting story. 18 to 10 the score in favour of New South Wales over Queensland in Game 1.